Well guys, here today we're gonna talk about something that I'm amazed that nobody's talking about this. It is like something that's being kept on the D-low in a big way right now. I've been watching CNBC, I've been watching all the news publications lately, and none of the guests are talking about this. No one is talking about what we're gonna talk about in this video here today, and it amazes me, because I think there's a pretty good probability that the stock market is gonna be closed down for an extended period of time, meaning from like anywhere from about a week to a potentially one to two months, okay? I think there's a decent probability this could actually happen and no one's talking about this. The reason I think no one's talking about this right now is I don't think they wanna panic the market any more than the market's kinda of already panicked recently, right? We've seen five of the top seven days in the history of the stock market in terms of biggest point changes down happen basically within the last week or two, right? The markets are already very scared. Just yesterday, right, just yesterday, the stock market was down over 2,000 points. So needless to say, people are worried as it is about this whole Rona situation. Like, people are scared, right? And then if you add on the top a possibility of the stock market being closed for an extended period of time, you're definitely gonna worry some folks out there, okay? Now, if you're wondering what happened in the market today, we did have a bit of a bounce back day, okay? The Dow was up 1,100 points, but keep in mind, yesterday was down 2,000 points. So basically, there's about 800 or 900 points still down just in the past two days. Now, why is this? You know, obviously the Rona situation. This is what is affecting everything here in the short term very negatively. And this is why it is possible the stock market could be closed down. And I'm talking about you can't like sell stocks. You can't buy stocks for an extended period of time between like one week to potentially like one to two months is how long I think this would last for if they did shut down the stock market, okay? Italy, the world's eighth biggest economy, right? It's pretty much on shutdown right now. If you're in Italy, the only way you can like move around or do anything is if it's absolutely necessary. If it's absolutely necessary, this is going on in Italy right now, right? Like, like this is this is pretty crazy stuff. Needless to say, now some of us can make arguments that maybe you know everybody's you know uh, taking this thing too serious, or you know some people say we're not taking it serious enough. There's arguments to be made, but we're not here to argue about that today. We're just going to talk about the possibility the stock market will be closed because of this, because of these actions we're seeing from somewhere like Italy, right? Uh, like the country's like basically closed down right now. Like that's crazy, right? We see Bernie Santa, his campaign just canceled an Ohio rally, right? We see out of New York City, right? Look at this. Mayor de Blasio says that the cases are coming in so fast right now for the Rona that, that basically they can't even keep track of how many it is. It's coming in so fast, okay? Several Wall Street employees test positive for the Rona, okay? You're looking at all this and you got to start thinking, my goodness, you know, what's going on in New York City? And if you think about the most densely populated areas, those will always be the areas that get hit the hardest by far and away when a situation like this happens, when we have some type of, you know, bad outbreak of something like we have with the whole Rona situation, right? If we look at a list of the most densely populated cities in the United States of America, Eight of the top 10 are New York City. Eight of the top 10 most densely populated cities are New York City, okay? This is big. This is really big, needless to say. And basically, if you didn't know, where's the stock market located? The stock market is located in New York City. That's why they call it the New York Stock Exchange, okay? Where's a company like JP Morgan located? Like one of the biggest banks in the whole United States of America. They obviously have a commercial side of their business. They have an average consumer side of their business. They have an investment side of their business. New York City. Where's Goldman Sachs, the biggest investment bank? Where's that located? New York City. Where's Citibank headquartered? New York City. And basically any big financial institution is playing in New York City. Hedge funds. Where, where are almost all the hedge fund managers located? And basically everybody that runs hedge funds, where are they all located? New York City, okay? And there's a strong possibility that New York City could be shut down essentially, okay? Like like literally shut down. I mean, there's talk that maybe the whole United States could kind of go into a shutdown situation where you're only supposed to move around if it's absolutely necessary. But, you know, that remains to be seen. But in terms of a major city, if we're talking about the, what's the highest probability of a major city being literally shut down and you can only move around if it's absolutely necessary, New York City 
is at least a decent probability that it will go into shutdown. If Italy wants to shut down the whole country, right? There's a decent probability that New York City, the most densely populated place by far and away in the United States of America, could go into full shutdown mode, okay? And I mean, people are taking this super serious. I mean, go to your local Costco, go to your local Sam's Club, and try to just get some toilet paper, try to get some like water, and you're not gonna be able to do it, okay? So, so you know, once again, the argument can be made if people are taking this too serious or not serious enough. I I've heard the arguments on both sides. But the facts around this is, like, go to your local Costco, go to your local Sam's Club, you're not even gonna be able to get cases of water, you're not even gonna be able to get toilet paper. I went just a few nights ago, and it was amazing to me, like, literally, you couldn't get anything. You couldn't get anything. I talked to one of the workers there, and I'm like, dude, like, there's literally no water. Like, you can't even buy, like, the expensive stuff, like the Fiji water in the cases. I'm like, how is this happening? He's like, dude, we ran out, like, within the first hour to hour and a half of the store being open, we were out of every kind of water, every kind of toilet paper, like, it happens like that, okay? I mean, it is really, really serious out there. Like, people are taking this, you know, once again, the arguments can be made for both sides, but needless to say, they're taking it dang serious. And if you're thinking, is it possible for the stock market to be closed? Like, has this happened before? Absolutely. Just in modern times, this has happened several times. 2007, they closed the stock market because Gerald Ford passed away. Back in 2012, the market was closed because of the, you know, basically Hurricane Sandy came through. Market was closed for a few days. In September of 2001, the market market was closed for almost an entire week, okay? So basically after what happened on September 11th, the market was closed for the entire rest of the week and the market did not open again until September 17th, 2001. And by the way, the stock market had a huge downward day on that particular day when the stock market did finally open, okay? So if you're thinking, is it possible for them to shut down the stock market? Absolutely, like just in the 2000s, they shut down the stock market several times, okay? So if New York City gets shut down, like there's a decent probability they will shut down the stock market and never mind that. I mean, obviously with all the volatility going on, you know, a lot of folks are, are kind of scared about that, okay? Now, now, what would Warren Buffett have to say, okay? This is a great quote I always remember from Warren Buffett. It's such a great quote. He says, the real test of whether you're investing from a value standpoint or not is whether you care whether the stock market is open tomorrow. If you're making a good investment in a security, it shouldn't bother you if they're closed the stock market for the next five years. Now, I do not believe the stock market is going to be closed for the next five years, but I will say that's always a good frame of thought to basically have that, man, what if the stock market actually closed for an extended period of time and you could not sell your stock? Like, would you still feel comfortable holding that company or not? So here's what's going to end up happening if the stock market does have to close. And if, you know, they, they basically say, you know what, we're closing down the stock market. So first thing is, if this news comes out, it's gonna come out on the weekend. They're not gonna drop this news on a Tuesday afternoon and be like, hey guys, you know, after Friday, the stock market's gonna be closed down for, you know, I don't know how long, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month. They're not gonna do that, I can promise you that. The reason they won't do that is because that would cause mass panic in the financial markets. Like we just saw yesterday, the Dow moved down 2,000 points without any type of news like this. Imagine if, if, if basically they were to come out and say, hey guys, you know what, we're gonna close down the stock market for a while. So, you know, uh, you have basically until Friday to sell your shares if you want. Like, could you imagine how much panic that would cause at the market? It would cause a lot, because a lot of folks would say, well, what if I need the money? Maybe I should sell out now. A lot of people would be trying to time it, essentially, because you saw when the stock market was closed for almost a week, back in September 2001, right? When the stock market finally opened on that September 17th, guess where the market went? It went down. It was a bad, bad day, needless to say, for the stock market, like one of the, the worst days in the stock market history. So you'd have a lot of funds, a lot of individual investors, a lot of you know wealthy investors saying, you know what, I'm gonna sell out my stocks because I don't know, you know how long this is gonna take. What if my money's tied up for a month and I can't sell it? What if it's two months? Some, like some people aren't thinking about multi-years like, like someone like myself would think or somebody like Warren Buffett, right? We, we buy a stock, like we're thinking multi-years out. Some people, there's a lot of people in the market that don't think like that, right? There's a lot of traders that are trying to get in and out of the market today this afternoon, like in the next 10 minutes. So those individuals, a lot of them would be like, dude, I'm gonna get out. And a lot of people would just be trying to time it because they're like, oh, well, whenever the market opens back again, it's gonna sell off huge and I'm gonna be able to buy everything for a lot cheaper. And as soon as that news came out, you would likely see a massive, massive dip in the market. So in my opinion, 
if if the market does close down, that you'll get the news over the weekend when the market's already closed and you'll not even be allowed to trade on that Monday whenever the market was to open or something like that. Like it would already be closed because we know the government doesn't want to instill a bunch more panic into the system, into the financial system. And I can tell you if they all of a sudden announce, hey guys, in a few days, the market's going to close down for an extended period of time. And we don't know how long this, this closure of the stock market's going to last. It would freak so many investors out in a massive way that we would likely we would likely have the biggest sell-off in stock market history just because of the fear that would create. And you got to think about the stock market. The stock market is very irrational most of the time, right? Like sometimes the stock market makes sense. Sometimes the stock market's calm. But most of the time, the stock market is an irrational thing and it, it takes things way too much to the upside or way too much to the downside. And that's the beautiful thing about being an individual stock picker. We get to identify those opportunities and invest when things are way too low and sell off when things are way too high. The stock market in general is extremely irrational. And so if some news broke like that, Woo you better get ready for a, a huge sell-off in the market, guys. So needless to say, no one's talking about this, um, and I'm amazed at that. I'm absolutely amazed at this because I think it's uh, definitely uh, up for discussion if this is going to end up happening, guys. So hope you enjoyed today's video as always. By the way, guys, we've got a huge St. Patrick's Day sale coming on the private stock group. I'll have that as the pinned comment down there if you want to get on the email list to get shot an email as soon as that deal drops on uh, March 15th through March 17th is when the deal is going to happen. So anybody that's been looking to take stock market investing super serious know everything i look for in stocks and be also be part of the group discord chat and things like that um you know this is going to be your big opportunity all right thank you for watching and have a great day